Hey, Melody, are you still awake? If you are, let's chat for a bit. Sarah, do you have any idea what time it is? It's already 1 a.m. I've got work tomorrow. I don't have time for you. Just a quick chat, okay? It's been a while. You were still up, weren't you? I was just about to hit the sack. Got it. You were about to hit the hay alone, huh? Because I snagged your elite high-income husband. Whoops. <laughs> you went from being the wife of a wealthy man to just a broke single woman. That's gotta sting more than just getting dumped, right? And on top of that, the one who took him was your own sister. Life can be quite the kicker, can't it? <laughs> yeah, I was completely blindsided when Josh suddenly asked for a divorce. I had no clue that my husband was cheating on me with my own sister. <laughs> it's been six months since I snatched Josh away from you. And guess what? He still had over heels for me. He claims he's happier than ever with me by his side. I suppose it's a good thing to be beautiful, isn't it? Even though we're sisters, poor Melody, you got the short end of the genetic stick. With that face, it's probably impossible for you to get remarried. <laughs> Did you text me just to mess with me? Kind of. I couldn't sleep and thought it would be entertaining. Would you mind not reaching out to me just to kill time? Unlike you, I'm busy every day. And besides, I couldn't care less about my ex-husband, Josh, or you. There's no point in messing with me. Huh? I'm sleepy, so I'm heading to bed. You should hit the hay too, you know. For the sake of your beauty. Hey! Well, good night. Hold on. What? Aren't you dying to know why I can't sleep? Not interested. Josh and I are jetting off on an overseas trip tomorrow. Uh-huh. I'm buzzing with excitement. That's why I can't sleep. I can't even nod off at this hour. Hmm. Wishing you a safe trip. Hey, aren't you jealous? Not really. Ugh, cut the act. <laughs> Josh and I are taking an extended vacation. We're off to Europe for three weeks. Well, I doubt you'll ever get the chance to travel abroad. <laughs> I'll bring you back some souvenirs, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks a million. Can I hit the hay now? Hold on a sec. What? Can't you boast some other time? Boast? No. I have a question. What? Where do you live now? Why do you ask? Don't tell me you're in some rundown shared house. Huh? I think it was right after Josh and I got married. A friend of mine saw you coming and going from a shared house. Well, what can I say? You were a housewife all your life, and then your rich husband left you. You can't exactly afford your own place now, can you? How's it going? Have you gotten used to living in a shared house? What kind of people do you live with? If it were me, I wouldn't be able to live in the same room with a complete stranger. I don't live in a share house. Huh? The room I'm in now is spacious and has a nice view from the window. It's very comfortable. You're kidding. I'm sure it's spacious if it's a shared house. But living with other people 24 hours a day can't be comfortable. I told you, I don't live in a shared house. Then you live in a shabby apartment with very cheap rent? I live in a penthouse with $10,000 rent. $10,000 in rent? Ugh, stop kidding. <laughs> Do 
do you even understand the numbers? I'm not kidding. But if you don't believe me, I don't care. Ah, poor Melody. You're so bitter that I stole your husband away from you. So now you're resorting to lies and pretending to be tough. I live with his parents. In a stunning mansion with a beautiful, expensive garden. Josh earns a hefty sum. And his father continues to rake in money from real estate investments. Even after retiring from his previous job. I can live a life of luxury and fame for the rest of my days. Uh, Sarah... Haven't you had any doubts in the six months since you married him? What? It's none of my business now, but I think you should start planning for the future, because your glamorous lifestyle won't last forever. Huh? What are you saying? They make a lot of money. I can live comfortably without any worries. There's no need for me to work. Even if you are wealthy now, you never know what might happen, right? Don't always rely on your husband or your parents-in-law's financial resources. I think you should learn to stand on your own feet. I don't get it. <laughs> You're just jealous of my celebrity lifestyle, aren't you? Do you think I would fall for such empty threats? Well, it's none of my business anymore, so I don't really care. But I did offer you some advice. Okay, okay. <laughs> You really don't give up, do you? Living in a shared house can be tough. But you're just too pathetic to bother me with meaningless threats. If you have time to envy me, why don't you find a new guy to marry? Well, unlike me, you're plain looking. You're probably going to stay single for the rest of your life. I'm really lucky to be born a beautiful woman. You may be smart, but ugly women are destined to lose to beautiful women. After all, a woman's face is her life. It's true that you're beautiful, but you shouldn't let your guard down. Looks can only take you so far, especially as you get older. <sighs> you're just a sore loser. Well, whatever. I don't care what happens to you. Enough already. <laughs> Well, I'm off to bed now. Let's wrap up this messaging. Hey, Melody! What's going on? Our house has been taken over. Huh? What do you mean it's been taken over? When we got back from vacation, there were strangers living in our place. Oh, right. You just got back. From your trip around Europe, right? How was it? Did you have fun? That's not the point. What's going on? Josh's parents weren't there. The name on the front door has changed. What happened while we were away? I don't know. Maybe you were jet-lagged and went to the wrong house? I wouldn't mistake my own house for anything. What's going on? Why are strangers living there? I have no idea. Josh is with you, right? Just ask him. Of course I asked him first. But he said he doesn't know anything either. He seems to know something. But he just acts awkward and won't tell me. Why are you asking me then? I remember that you mentioned something that sounded like a warning. You know something, don't you? How did our house get taken over? Where did his parents go? I don't know anything about that. Don't ask me. You can contact them, right? Uh-huh. I heard a rumor that they moved away. But I don't know anything more than that. Why don't you just ask them? That's a good idea. I'll call his mother anyway. Hey, Melody! I just talked to her. I don't really understand it, but she says some circumstances forced them to leave the old house, and they've moved to a new place in the next town over. 
She gave me the address, so Josh and I are headed there now. Oh, I see. They've already sold their old house. And another family lives there now. Oh, really? I suppose it was sold quickly after it went on the market. Oh, I'm excited. A new house? What's it like? I bet they moved into an even bigger mansion than the old one. Sarah, you're so laid back. Huh? Never mind. I'm glad you reached out to them. Yeah, I'm relieved. Can you imagine finding strangers living in your place after vacation? I was so shocked. Maybe they wanted to surprise me so they didn't tell me. Well, I'm off to the new house now. See you soon. It's the worst. What kind of a place is this? What's wrong? I came to the address she gave me. It was a tiny apartment. And it was so old that I couldn't even guess its age. The walls were crumbling. The stairs looked like they were about to collapse. What's going on, really? Why do we have to move from a mansion to a crappy apartment? Sounds like the situation is worse than I imagined. Huh? Do you know anything about this? Ask Josh and his parents. I'm just an outsider. Don't say that. Tell me. It's so mysterious. They all seem so gloomy, it's difficult to approach them. I can imagine, but I can't casually disclose such private matters. I'm practically a stranger after the divorce, you know. What on earth? I can't believe it. Josh is actually unemployed. Hey, don't you think that's awful? He quit his job a month ago and kept it a secret. I knew it. You knew it? He's been embezzling from the company for years, right? Huh? He was doing a good job of hiding it, but he finally got caught and fired. Melody, is that true? Josh was embezzling? I wasn't certain, but during our marriage, I had my suspicions. He was working for a big company and was well paid, but he kept buying new cars, luxury watches, all the time. I thought he's spending too much money. I questioned him to see if he was hiding anything, but he insisted he hadn't done anything wrong. But in the midst of all this, you stole him away, and we ended up divorcing without being able to resolve it. What the? A friend of mine from college works for the same company as him, so I asked her about it. Apparently, he was padding his expenses and overcharging. It's been a rumor among his co-workers for a while. No way. Josh was well paid. He doesn't need to do that. Human greed knows no bounds, huh? That's terrible. I thought I could snatch your high-status husband away from you. Our financial differences have been bothering me for a while. It's a relief I got divorced. But still... How could you go on an overseas trip in that situation? I had no idea that Josh had been fired from his job. And he planned to complete the move while we were on vacation. Ugh, it really pisses me off. I can't believe he decided to move without discussing it with me. Well, if you had found out about the plan, you would have made a scene to hold on to that mansion. Of course I would. I can't stand living in such a shabby apartment with only one bathroom. My father-in-law says it's better than being homeless. But four adults sleeping together in one room? There is no privacy. Huh? Wasn't he making money from his investments? Uh, his investments failed too. His savings dried up. To cover up his hefty debt, he had no choice but to sell the old mansion. I suspected as much. What? Hey, are you suggesting that you knew his investments would fail? 
because he was blindly buying properties just as the salesman advised him to. I was concerned if he knew what he was doing. He used up all his savings and all the money he received from his retirement. I can't believe it. Well, it can't be helped. You should be grateful that you have a place to live, at least. You're joking. This place is unfit for human habitation. It's old, cramped, leaky. It's probably worse than your shared house. As I've said many times before, I'm not living in a shared house. Huh? But a friend of mine saw you going into one. I stayed there for a short while until I found a new place to live after the divorce. I moved out right away. Where? To a penthouse, like I mentioned earlier. I thought you were joking. The rooms are enormous, and it has a fantastic view from the top floor. It's a wonderful place to live. Hold on. How can you afford to live in a penthouse if you're poor? Because I'm working. I know you are working now, but you were a housewife while you were married to Josh, right? No, I wasn't. I don't believe you. You stayed at home almost all day long. I was home, but I was working. What? I did a variety of work from home jobs. In fact, I made more money than Josh. Seriously? Otherwise, how could I afford to live in a house that costs $10,000? You assumed I became poor after I divorced Josh. Well, you were wrong. Now I can spend the money I earn only for myself. I feel richer than before. No way. So you were totally fine with me taking your husband away from you? Yep. You took in a no-good husband who got fired for his misconduct. I'm definitely grateful to you. <laughs> Ugh. Then I'll move into your place. Huh? I don't want to live in this run-down apartment. Your place is spacious, right? Living alone must be lonely. I'll come live with you. Are you kidding? What about your husband and in-laws? I'll cut ties with them. I married Josh because he was an elite. I agreed to live with his parents because they had a big house. But now Josh has no job. They lost their mansion and now live in a rundown apartment. There's no reason for me to stay with them any longer. I'm stunned. I guess money talks. I have no use for poor people. Who are you to say so? You don't make a penny yourself. Hey, tell me the address of the penthouse you live in. I'm packing my bags and heading over there right now. I won't tell you. Why not? I don't want to live with a woman who steals others' husbands. Don't say that. We're sisters. I'm sorry, but I don't consider you my sister. I apologize for taking your husband away from you. But you were always fed up with him, weren't you? Besides, I'm sure it's more fun to live with someone than living alone. I'm already living with someone. Huh? So, I'm not lonely at all. Living with someone? Who? A friend of yours you met at the shared house? My fiancé. What? You're getting married again? Yeah. I met him through work and we hit it off. He proposed to me the other day. No way! I thought you'd be single forever. I'm sorry to break your expectation. So, what does he do? He owns a company. You mean you'll marry into a rich family? You're just in it for the money, aren't you? <sighs> Don't assume I'm like you. It's just that the guy I fell in love with happened to be the president of a company. I wasn't after his fortune. It's not fair. Huh? I went from being a celebrity to living in a crappy apartment. You live in a penthouse that rents for $10,000? Are you kidding me? You're ugly and you're cocky. It's fine if you call me ugly. Now you understand. Beauty isn't always the deciding factor in a relationship. 
What am I going to do now? Why don't you tough it out with Josh? I can't. Josh is unemployed. I don't have a job either. If possible, I'd like to rely on my parents. But they disowned me for stealing your husband. Hey, Melody, how am I supposed to live now? Don't ask me. Think for yourself. Besides, I gave you good advice. Ugh. Well, goodbye. Hold on, Melody. Please, don't abandon me. Sarah attempted to sneak out in the middle of the night to return to her parents' house. But Josh caught her and forcefully brought her back to that rundown apartment. Despite wanting a divorce, they wouldn't allow it. The family of four is now struggling in poverty within a cramped space. Both Josh and his father have lost all motivation to work. Sarah now toils from morning till night to support her family. The toil of hard work has robbed her of her former beauty and appearance, making her hardly recognizable. Meanwhile, I married my fiancé, and we are enjoying our honeymoon in the penthouse. Observing their current miserable lifestyle, I am immensely grateful that I divorced my ex-husband early on. Thank you for watching! Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel! See you in the next video!